Hi guys, so we wanted to give you a tour of our Ford Transit Custom that we built ourselves into a camper van. Let's go! So we have this super stealthy side door. This is actually a blackout window. I can show you when we're inside. Um, this is our kitchen area. So come on in. We've got a solid oak worktop. This stainless steel sink if you come on in. And you can see we've got a hand pump as well, which is really awesome, doesn't require any electricity. We've got water butts under here, so we've got a self-contained water system with wastewater. And the best bit, soft closed doors. We've got this two ring hob, lift that up and you can be cooking and boiling the kettle at the same time. We've got an overhead storage cabinet. This is where we keep our teas, coffees, etc. Everything that you need for the kitchen. This is the bulkhead. Really nifty bit of space. So it just goes over the seats in the front, but actually we put a load of junk in here that you don't need all the time. Come in further. We've got an L-shaped seating area, uh, which is super spacious actually. We've had at least four people in here pre-COVID. Um, <laughs> hanging out and there's more than enough room. Uh, one of my favourite bits in here is our table situation. So if you come around here, you'll be able to see. This is how we store our table during the day and when we're not using it. So quick to put up. You just release that safety latch, pull it up here. And you might notice that there's a rail along here. That means depending on where you're sat, you can secure it. And again, we've had multiple people eating dinner off of this. A hidden bit of storage that we put in is just under here. So you remove this solid oak worktop and down there it's actually built to be just the right size for some uh, wine bottles. So I'll take you through the back doors. So we've got two barn doors and again, really stealthy blackout windows. So you wouldn't know from the outside, but actually they bring in light, you can see out. The nifty trick here as well, if you, uh, if you have a really good view or you want a bit more light in the van, you can pop them wide open. Look at that. So really make the most of your views. So we have insulative and a blackout blinds made to measure for the back windows. This is what a bedside table looks like in a van, so everything you need for bedtime. This is three inch memory foam, so really, really comfy night's sleep. And if I open these up, you can see massive amounts of storage under there. This one actually fits a toilet perfectly, so you can slide it in and out really, really easily. And then over here, we've got our power outlets. So we've got 12 volt output, and for phones at night, two five volt USBs. And on that note, let's make the bed. Welcome to the bedroom area. I'll show you a bit of storage first. So I just took you through the rear storage and mentioned that this part of that is the perfect size for a toilet. So this little hidden door is great for sliding the toilet in and out at night, um, which is brilliant. So let's turn the L-shaped seating area into the bed. So if you come in here, this is actually where we keep all of our bedding. It's a storage unit that pulls out, but that's where we'd be pulling our duvet and our pillows out from. And there's two wooden handles here that give you a bit of grip to pull out the bed slots. And this is where it's a bit of Tetris. So you've got two long cushions that fit perfectly here. And then an extra cushion that adds to an expandable pull-up section here just to give you a bit more room. Pop that there. And there you go, that's the bed. So in terms of safety in the van, we also have a carbon monoxide alarm, because there's obviously gas in here, and a little fire alarm as well. Because we do gas cooking, we've got a little vent here, which also works as a skylight, which opens up fully and is very nice when it's a bit hot, actually. Where the gas bottle is, which is in here, we do have a gas drop vent. I'll talk you through our electrics. We've got on top of the van a 100 watt solar panel which is for energy 
Uh, as part of the Renergy Solar Kit as well, we have a charge controller, which is quite nifty actually. It tells you how much percentage the battery's got left and lots of other things in terms of how much you're using. And then our battery is stored in here. So we've got a 110 amp hour leisure battery, which is stored nicely under our seats in case you ever need to get to it. And all of that powers are USB charging points and 12 volt charging points that you saw earlier, as well as four LED spotlights and then strip lights that go all along our bookshelf and around the front.